I'm an engineer at heart. I'm the chief engineer for the project and you know, from day one uh, it's always been about engineering for me and um, I love building beautiful machines. Let me explain why I thought this was impossible. We have a, a terminology within Rocket Lab that we affectionately call the wall. We, we're not doing a propulsive uh, re-entry and obviously you saw we're not doing a propulsive landing. The fundamental reason for that is that it takes a small launch vehicle and turns it into a medium-sized launch vehicle. We're not in the business of building medium-sized launch vehicles, we're in the business of building small launch vehicles for dedicated customers to get on orbit frequently. So we have to start off at eight and a half times the speed of sound and we have to get down to 0.01 times the speed of sound in around about 70 seconds. And when we're entering, we, get, we generate a lot of shock waves and shock-shock interactions and the plasma around those shock waves is equal to about half the temperature of the sun. I think you can probably see by now why I thought this was a pretty big challenge. How do we convince ourselves this was possible? Well, we started flying and when we started flying, we started getting more and more data. The Electron is, is, is basically a flying laboratory. We have around about 15,000 channels of data every flight. We tried to understand and close the verification loop of what's going on. We're taking a, you know, a completely different approach to, uh, to solving, this, uh, solving this problem. Um, we're, we're doing it uh, very, very passively. Um, we're doing it with a lot of uh, TPS and a lot of aerodynamic uh, decelerators to try and uh, push our way uh, through that, bound that boundary wall. Goal one is just to get through the wall. And I bet a lot of you guys sitting there watching and, and looking at the helicopter piece thinking, whoa, that's tricky. But I can assure you that is the least bit that I'm worried about. That bit is super easy. The grand goal here, if we can capture the vehicle in, in wonderful condition, in theory, we should be able to put it back on the pad, charge the batteries up and go again. Launch frequency is the thing that is going to change this industry and quite frankly uh, going to change the world because if we can get these systems up on orbit uh, quickly and reliably, we can innovate a lot more and, uh, and create a lot more opportunities. Even if I can get the stage back once, I've effectively doubled my production ratio. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's a, a wonderful place to be.